I'm Taylor and thank you for joining me today for this full body hit workout. So we're going to be working hard and then taking rest in between. You're going to see a lot of big complex movements that will get that heart rate up. So you're going to need a plethora of weights if you have the accessibility to. So I've got my 10s to 20s. I will be using anywhere in those in that range. We'll be up, we'll be on the floor. So grab all the things you need, especially some water, and let's get into this full body hit workout. All right, to warm up, I want you to cross those arms in front. Give me a little heel tap. Just give me some big deep breaths in and out. In and out. Great, all right, butt kickers right here. Bring those heels to your booty. We're gonna form it up that back side. We've got a lot of everything today, so I wanna make sure you're warm from head to toe. For four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to scoop and give me a hinge, stretching out that hamstring, so hinge back with that scoop. You should be feeling a stretch all along that back side. Some dynamic stretching here. Give me four more. Three, two, and one. Bring those feet under your hips, arms overhead. Hinge it and squat it. Hinge it and squat it. Awesome. We have some hinge movements today and we have some squat movements today. So we're gonna practice before we add that weight. One more. All right, give me some big reaches. Opening up the side. Now let's take it across, pick up that heel. Keeping that core in nice and tight. For four, three, two, and one. All right, feet back under those hips, hinge forward. I want the arms up to a V and out. Up, diagonal to the side. Squeezing your shoulder blades down and back, warming up your back. Drop those shoulders away from your ears last time. All right, come to the back of your space. We're gonna do an inchworm into a push-up, then come right back up, toes or knees. Push it all the way up. I just want two more, nothing crazy yet. Walk it, one more. All right, give me a little shake, grab a drink. Let's talk about our workout. You have 10 exercises. Your first time through all 10, you have 40 seconds of work with 20 seconds of rest. You have round two, it's gonna drop in time. 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and your final round today is going to be 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So it gets progressively easier, right? As we get tired, the time goes down. I love this format. It goes by quick, lots of complex movements. Let's talk about this first one. You have two rows. Clean it up. You have two step back lunges. So two rows to two lunges, all right? Pick up those weights, 40 seconds of work in three, Two, and one, two rows. <sighs> Clean it up. Give me a step back lunge once on each side. Hinge over, two rows. <sighs> Clean it up, nice and big. Hinge over with that back nice and flat. What am I doing here? Both arms, Taylor. <sighs> Use those legs to get those dumbbells up. Back to two rows, pop it up. All right, let's give me two more rows and we'll be done. 
One clean. Hey. All right. Next move. We have a thruster. That's essentially a squat with a press. And you're gonna hold here. Give me one more press back to that squat. So one squat, two presses. Let's go. Two presses. Drop. On that first press, use your legs to help get that dumbbell up. I want you to go as heavy as you can. I'll be honest, I've been working out a lot today. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter than I normally would, but I want you to push. By the end of the 40 seconds, those muscles should be fatigued. Big movements today. One more squat. All right, we're on the floor. All the way on the floor, big deep breath. Woo. We have a narrow chest plus chest press with a bridge. Your arms and booty move together in three, two, and one. Elbows tucked in and squeeze. Drop and press. Elbows close to those sides. Palms are facing each other. This is a narrow press. So you're gonna feel your chest and your triceps working here. Don't forget about that booty. All the way down, all the way up. Dumbbells stay over that chest, not your head. All right, a couple more. Couple more, one more. Hey. All right, set those dumbbells to the side. We're coming right back up. Nice and quick, you have a side lunge with a hammer curl right and left. In between those lunges, we've got that hammer curl. Let's start to the right. Toes stay forward, let's go. Lunge, hammer curl. No momentum on that curl, it's all muscle. So set that foot down and then curl. All the way up, all the way down. Big push off that outside foot. That should be a big power move. Drop, push, curl. Drop, push. Booty goes to that back wall. Last one. Shake it out. All right, I'm gonna go a little heavier. We're staying with biceps. You have a cross body curl. Elbows stay tucked in. That's all. Right, left, right, left. 40 seconds of work. Big shoulder roll down and back. Slight bend in those knees. Here we go. Cross it and switch. I want you to have constant tension on your bicep. So we're gonna stop that dumbbell about three quarters of the way up. So what I mean by that, instead of coming all the way up, we're coming three quarters, drop. All the way across your body, keep it close. I do not want you out here. Okay, that's gonna be hard on your shoulder and your elbow joint. Nice and close to that body. One more each side. Hey, woo! All right, shake out those hands. It's a lot of grip strength today. Next move, you have a front lunge. Lift your heel, push back. Front lunge, lift your heel, push back. Lots of quads here. You can always do this without any dumbbells. Here we go. Big push, drop, calf raise, push. I feel like, in my experience, this front lunge movement is underutilized, right? Lots of strength in the front of that leg that we need in our everyday life. Functional training here, big push. If you're feeling any pain in your knee, you have knee problems, you can always take it to a step back lunge or take the weight off. 
Last one. Woo! We are staying with legs for one more. I'm gonna give my hands a break. You have two deadlifts and two curtsy lunges. So two deadlifts, curtsy lunge each side. Here we go. Here for two, two curtsies. Man, this workout moves quick, doesn't it? Two deads, stand up tall, drop that back foot, set it up. We are already on exercise seven out of 10. We're flying. Nice, neutral spine here. Finish with these deadlifts. Hey, all right, one heavy. We have a back pullover, we're back on the floor. Grab the ends of your dumbbell, legs go up. One back pullover, one leg drop. One back pullover, other way. Let's go. And drop. Big pull. Watch your fingers. Don't smash them. Slight bend in your elbow. Think about what muscle are you using? We're using that big back muscle. Squeeze that back muscle. Drop that leg. Option, you can always bend your knees and extend. There's always ways to make it work. Last one. Woo! All right, set it to the side. All right, we're gonna take up the intensity a little bit here for the last two, okay? Stay with me. You have one dumbbell. Curl, press. Curl, press. 40 seconds of work. Here we go. Pop it up. We get to use momentum this time. If you want to keep it low impact today, you're going to step it out. Same thing, but one foot steps out at a time. Like I said, you can make it work for you. I don't know what your injuries are, where you're at. We're all in a different place. Sometimes you have to be creative, but we can make it work most of the time, right? Three two, and one. All right, biggest move is last. You get a big break after this. You have a burpee right here. Dumbbells in the legs. You're gonna give me two squats. In three, two, and one. Burpee, two squats. Option. Step it, grab those weights, two squats. Option three, step it, body weight, squat. Choose your level, let's go. Longest time right here. We're dropping by 10 seconds. You've got seven, five, four, one more. Nice job. Walk it out. Get a drink. Recover. Big breath in and out. I want you to take this time to breathe. Little side tap in and out. That was awesome, you guys. It was a lot coming at you. No new moves. Same 10 moves. We're dropping the time. 30 seconds of work each. There's a catch. Your rest time goes down as well. Less working time, less rest time. 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. All 10 moves, round two. Here we go, that first move. Two rows, pop, two lunges. 
Move one, round two, here we go. Pick it up, hinge it, here we go. Two rows, pop it, step it back right and left. Hinge, two strict rows, pop. Now we know what we're doing, so let's perfect these moves. We take round one as practice, getting our footing. Now we work. Finish, finish. All right, we go a little lighter. We have your squat with two overhead presses. Feet over the hip, under the hips, not over. Three, two, and one. Two presses. Use those legs to get those arms up that first time. It's a nice neutral overhead press. All the way down, all the way up. Nice big squat. I want you to try to get to 90 degrees or lower in that squat. Four, three, one more squat. All right, we're back on the floor. One chest press. Two, a bridge, narrow chest press. So arms and booty moving together. Here we go. Drop and press. Elbows tucked in. Weight in the heels, wiggle those toes. I like this time drop. It gives you something to look forward to. Drop, squeeze, elbows touching your shirt. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Carefully set those dumbbells to the side. We have our side lunge with that hammer curl. Big power move in those legs. Let's go to the right, hit it. Side lunge, thumbs up. We have two heads of our bicep muscle. We're hitting both of those today with the different types of bicep curls. There is a reason behind the madness. There is, we want a nice, even body, right? We don't wanna forget any muscles. Done, that went fast. All right, shake out that grip. We're going back to those curls, but we're going cross body, not all the way up, three quarters. Here we go, cross the body, switch. Keeping that dumbbell close to that body, about three quarters of the way up, then drop. I want you to do a core check for you. What is your core doing right now? I want it to brace itself. So it's, you're squeezing that core. It's protecting your body, your back. It's keeping that body stable. Done. All right, we've got, I'll keep these weights. Your front lunge with that calf raise, alternating right and left. Woo! This one's a burner, here we go. Calf raise, push. Low lunge. Hang out at the bottom for a second. Don't rush through it. Hold, calf raise, big push. So this is a hit workout today because we have big, powerful movements. We've got complex movements, working to different muscle groups at the same time. All the things, one more. Ooh. Okay, staying with legs, give me a little twist. Two deadlifts, two curtsy lunges. Here we go. Two deadlifts, like bend in the knee, stand up tall, right and left. Two deadlifts. Squeezing through your heels and your glutes. We 
neutral spine, gazes on the floor. Last two. All right, on the floor, grab that one heavy. We've got the back pullover with your leg drop. Grab the ends, feet up. Here we go, little bit of needle bow. Pull it, drop a leg. Lower back stays glued on that floor. And drop, reach back, front, drop. Back, front, drop. Imagine putting those shoulder blades in your back pockets. One more. And up. All right, come on up. We don't have a lot of time in between. Last two moves, we're already at move nine. Curl with the jack press, we're taking up the intensity. Let's go. Come on, we're not taking a drink break. Not yet. I see you. That option, top it out. You can keep it low impact. If not, pick it up a notch. Big curl, big press, big curl. Top. Let's see if we get three more in. Come on, come on, fight for it. One more. Yes. Do you remember what the last move is? Do you remember? It's your favorite. One burpee, two squats, two low hold squats. Here we go. Nice and low. Set it down. Tap it back. Two squats. Option. Step it. Pick up those weights. I want your back flat. If this hurts your back, drop the weights and just give me two squats. Last one. Break time. All right. We have one more round, you guys, and your time is dropping. This round is gonna go really fast. 20 seconds of work. 10 seconds of rest. That is just enough time to set your weights down and get your next set of weights. That's it, okay? So I need you to think quick transitions from one exercise to the next. We can do it. 20 seconds to move. We gotta come up down. All right, 10 seconds. Big deep breath in and out. Grab your weights, two rows and two lunges, final round. In three, two, and one. Two rows, let's see if we can pick up the pace. 20 seconds, goes by so fast. Get as many reps in as you can. You know your moves now. Fly, two rows, two lunge, four, three, two, and one. Nice, squat. Two overhead press, pick it up. Rack it on the shoulders, here we go. Two press. I still want that nice low squat. Come on, power through. Yes, you can. One more. On the floor, come on, here we are. Fast, 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 faster. Narrow press with that bridge, let's go. Drop, press. Drop, press, drop, press. Elbows tucked in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. All right, three moves. Three moves done. Side lunge, curl in the center. We're gonna go to the right. Here we go. Lunge, come on, let's go. No time to dilly-dally around. We're in, we're here to work. 
Let's work. You're gonna be done real soon. Four, three, two, one. Give your hands a break. So we're cutting down our time in half from that first round. Half cross body curl, here we go. Finish off these biceps. Three quarters, drop. Three quarters. Tuck those elbows. Keep it close to that body. How are you doing? Whew, getting sweaty up in here. All right, shake it out real quick. Front lunge, calf raise. Here we go in three, two, and one. Hold, calf raise, push. Hold, calf raise, push. Power, tap into that power. Fast twitch muscles right here. Three, two, one. All right, we're staying. We're staying with these legs. Two deadlifts, two curtsy lunges. Big shoulder roll, hit it. Two deadlifts, two curtsies. I'm not sure what is more tired, my legs or my arms. I'm not sure. They're both pretty fired up. All right, we're going to the floor. One heavy, fast, fast, fast. We have that back pullover with your leg lift. In three, two, and one. Pull and drop. Pull and drop. Stay with it. Lower back on that floor. One more. Pop it up. Pop it up for me. Curl to a press jack. In three, two, and one. 20 seconds, all in. Give me whatever you got right here. You can do anything for 10 more seconds. I believe in you. We came to work, put it in. You have less than a minute left. Done, set it up. Burpee, two squats. Let's get five reps in, can we do five? Here we go. There's one. Come on, let's get five. There's three. There's four, we got it, we got it. Two, and one. What a way, what a way to finish. Tap it out. Awesome job today. That was Fast and Furious. Let me know how you liked it. Thank you for being here, you guys. All right, take those feet. Big plie. Breathe in. Let that heart rate come down. Everything in. Everything out. Come on down to your knees. Rock it back and forth. Hands on those knees. Roll that shoulder over. Loosening up that back. Come back center, roll it up. Feet together. Reach over to the right. Stretch out your back, your side. Other way. And center, bring those elbows out nice and wide. Stretching out that chest. And grab one wrist behind. Pull it. Grab that wrist in front, open up those shoulder blades, and release. That is it for your full body HIIT workout. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.